Greetings everyone, I'm Arnon Bitemoller and I work as a software QA analyst at Mulesoft. This video features Mulesoft's Magento connector, displays how to meet configuration requirements for using the connector in a Mule project, and an attached product to shopping cart use case implementation through the connector operations. In order to build and run this project you will need to have a Magento instance running, also to download and install Mule Studio Community Edition, and a browser to make the request and view operation payloads. After installing Magento, a SOAP XML RPC user has to be created. For that, log into the Magento admin panel, go to System, Web Services, SOAP XML RPC user, and then add a new user. The username and API key will be your credentials for the connector. In order to install the connector, after launching Mule Studio, go to Help Install New Software. From the Work With drop-down, select Mule Studio Cloud Connectors Update Site, and then Filter by Magento. Check it and click Next. After completing the installation process, you will be required to restart Mule Studio. Once Mule Studio loads again, check the Cloud Connectors category in the Studio palette. Magento will be listed there. Now, let's create a Mule project. For that, go to File, New, Mule Project and call it Magento Demo. Mine was already created. Next, store the credentials, by that I mean username, password and address, as properties in the Mule App Properties file that's on the app folder. Regarding your SOAP address, it will look like this. Replace the host and Magento installation folder, this last one if applicable, with the appropriate values. Then, create a Magento global element. My global element is already created too. Populate the username and password and address fields with property placeholders. On this first part of the demo, I'm going to arrange all necessary building blocks first and then explain the purpose of each of them and how they are configured. Let's start with a subflow. Filter the studio palette and drop a subflow scope element into the canvas. Now, place a, an, an HTTP inbound endpoint on top of it. This will automatically create our main flow. Drag a flow reference and afterwards a set payload transformer next to it. Put two Magento cloud connectors in the subflow and then place a property transformer between them. Name the main flow shopping cart operations and the subflow create product. Finally, set shopping cart operations as path value and select create product on the flow reference dropdown. The idea of this flow is to create a product and to set its inventory. Once a request is made to the application endpoint, the flow reference will lead to the create product subflow. On the first connector, the Magento global element is referenced and create product is set as operation. As you can see, the arguments in the general section of the create operation are pretty straightforward. Below, the standard product attributes are passed to the operation as a map. To add key value pairs, click the plus sign. The new product ID is going to be returned by the create operation and we're going to store it for later use on the flow by creating a product ID property. Next, the inventory of our new product has to be updated. We're going to retrieve the product ID using a Groovy evaluator and invoking the product ID property. The execution will return to the shopping cart operations flow and the set payload transformer will change the payload to what's set on the value field and that will be displayed by the browser. Let's run the example. Now hit the endpoint. And as you can see, the ID of the product we created is returned by our application.
We are going to alter and extend our original flow in order to add a product to a shopping cart. The way to build this is similar to how our previous flow was made. I'll go through what has changed. In the shopping cart operations flow, I have removed the set payload transformer and added two flow reference building blocks. Under the create product, I have added two subflows more, add items to car and get shopping cart info being each referenced respectively from the new flow reference elements in our main flow. In the add items to cart subflow, the same as on the create product subflow, there are two Magento cloud connectors and a property transformer in between them. At last, the get shopping cart info subflow contains another Magento connector and an object to JSON transformer that will format the payload of the operation how this works. Our flow will start on the HTTP inbound endpoint after receiving a request. It will go to the create product subflow, create the product, store the product ID, and then update the product inventory. Execution will then return to our main flow and continue in the add items to cart subflow. The create shopping cart operation will return a shopping cart ID that will be stored by the property transformer. Add shopping cart product will retrieve the quote ID and also the product ID stored in other parts of the flow. In the product attributes of the operation, a list of maps is created passing the product ID and quantity to be added to the cart. Flow execution will then continue on the get shopping cart info subflow. Get info shopping cart will need the quote ID as input. Now this is important. Prior to running the application, remember to delete the product we created on the previous section of this demo. For that, you can use the Magento admin panel. As an alternative, you can also change the SQ value of the create operation. Otherwise, an error will be returned because SQ has to be unique. Let's run the example. Once the application is up, hit the endpoint. As you can see in the items node of the shopping cart info response, our product and its attributes set by the create operation appear. This has been a demo of MuleSoft Magento connector. For detailed information on the connector operations, check the API docs available in the GitHub repository. And related to MuleSV or Mule Studio features, you can visit MuleSoft website where webinars and other documentation is available under the resources option. Thank you for watching.